to Sew Unique Sewing's Summer Song Block of the Month program. Today we are going to be working on block one, and this is part two on your sewing instructions. Today we are going to be learning flying geese. There's a flock of four flying geese in this first block of Summer Song. Flying geese are made from one rectangle and two squares. It's very important, in case I haven't said this in our last couple of videos, to measure as you go. Don't wait till you get to the final block and find out that you're an inch off. Um, you should be measuring these units as you go. The pattern gives you measurements in each step. When you are finished with that step, what your final product should measure. So it's important to do that with each step. Don't wait till the final the final step to measure the block to find out that you have a little faux pas somewhere. But So our flying geese are really easy. Um, I believe they're easy anyway. So you're gonna use a marking pen. You can use a ballpoint pen if you don't have a friction pen. I prefer the friction pens. But if you don't have one, use what you have. Ballpoint pen, pencil, just something that you can see your seam. And you're gonna line this up with the top left hand corner and the diagonal is the last part of a V if you're going to the left side and when you're on the right side it will be the first part of the V so it's called a flying goose because geese make a V when they fly so we're going to be working on flying geese so I've got my lines already drawn on all my little squares. Um, these are the teal flowers. Let me turn it over right side so you can see what we've got here. And we've got our white. And if you look at your white in good light, you'll be able to tell what's the right side and what's not the right side. Um, this is the wrong side. This is the right side. And you can see the flowers are very vivid. If you can't see, feel, because you can actually feel the flowers a little bit on this one. You know, they're not raised like braille, but you can definitely feel it a little bit. So you can start on the left side or the right side, it does not matter, but you're gonna do one side at a time. And what you're going to do is you're gonna stitch down right next to that line, okay? You can sew on the line if you prefer, but it is better to get your needle right next to the line. So if you get your needle right next to the line, it doesn't leave a gap so much up at the top of the V. And then you're gonna sew down alongside that line and to the very end. And then we're gonna cut this off at a quarter inch seam. And then this is gonna flip up, just for those of you who don't know what a flying goose looks like. <coughs> That flying geese flying geese look like you're gonna flip it up like that and this piece is going to be off so as you do that um, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble my four first parts of my geese and we're doing the first side of the V because I'm working on the right side and there will be four of these and again double checking your white to make sure you are putting this on the right side of the fabric, not the wrong side, the right side. And we're gonna go sew on the right side and then we'll be back to trim the quarter inch off. Okay, so now we've um, sewn our flying goose and we've done the first part of the V and as you can see, we've gone right up next to the line, not on the line, but next to the line. And we're gonna take our ruler, and I'm using this one so you can see it pretty well, and we're gonna go with the first line here, and that is a quarter inch. So we're gonna just line that quarter inch up on the line. Remember, we've sewn right next to the line. And we're just gonna chop that off at a quarter inch. And now we're gonna take that over to the ironing board and we're gonna press this. Now I've used the friction pin, so this will come off when I use it. And because we've sewn right next to the line, it's gonna make that fold come out really nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna finger press it 
so you can see for now. And then we're gonna move to the next step. So I'm gonna take that to the ironing board and press it. And then after I do, I'm gonna line this up with the left side of my fabric. So you want that all nice and lined up pretty. As you can see, up at the top, it overlaps just a tad, okay? And when I sew right next to the line on that side, it's gonna give us a nice crisp point with the blue there. But then when we sew that in, that's gonna be that quarter inch seam, so your point's gonna be nice and pretty. And you'll be able to see that when I come back for our next step. So now we have that left side sewn, and again, we're right next to that line. And again, we're gonna take our ruler, line it up on the line, and we're gonna cut this off at the quarter inch. Okay, you will have triangles left over. I like to save those um, to make a half square triangle. You can just sew a seam right down the center of that and then you have half square triangles um, for a future scrappy quilt. So now when I take this to the iron, I'm gonna press this up and this will give me that nice perfect V for the flying geese. Isn't that beautiful? So we'll take that to the ironing board. We're gonna finish the four of those and then we'll come back um, for our next steps. Your flying geese should measure five inches by nine and a half. So I'm gonna take my nine and a half inch square here and we're gonna line the bottom piece up right here at the five because it needs to be five inches tall. And then we are just gonna trim off the edge over here um, as I told you before, these sewing instructions don't give you much leeway. So there, we've got a little bit of excess on the right side and we are gonna just trim that off. I've got my little Olaf working. We're gonna make sure we're straight here and straight across the top. And we're gonna just chop that off just a little bit. There are some um, fraying edges up at the top, so I'm just gonna trim those off. And again, you wanna measure as you go, and you should do that to all four in your flock. And then we will be back with part three video on assembling your next step. Remember to trim each one of the four geese in your flock to five by nine and a half inches. Don't worry if you're just a hair off. These cutting instructions are very close. Stay tuned for our next video of part three for block one, assembling your four by four blocks. As always, remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get future updates from So Unique Sewing.